Hey y'all, this is Battle Means by Amari. Right back at you with another video. Uh, in this one, I want to talk about one of the most ridiculous moments in Dragon Ball Super. And it has nothing to do with scaling. It has nothing to do with uh, ridiculous storyline writing. It has to do with how dumb and whack they made Goku in Super. Now you mean to tell me for the years that Goku has known Chi Chi, he's never kissed her on the lips and she has never kissed him on the lips? How fucking dumb do the writers have to be to make such a ridiculous moment? Now it's one thing to have comedy relief moments. I, I hear, I understand that. We all like to laugh and see funny moments especially in intense situations where, you know, things need to lighten up a bit maybe, especially after the, the issue is resolved. I understand that. But to make it that Goku never kissed Chi Chi and the fact that they have two kids together, seriously? Now, we all know how Chi Chi is. She's a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A very possessive, very, very strong-willed, very take-action type of woman. So you mean to tell me that she's never forced a kiss on Goku through all the years that she's known him? I mean, it's one thing for Goku not to know what a kiss was when he was younger. I get that. You know, the, he's very naive. But over the years that he's known her, she's never kissed him? Never? There was even a moment in Dragon Ball Z in the anime where it's in, improvised that they gave when Goku woke up from the heart from the heart disease, and he was about to go. I think it was go fight Cell. No, it was it was something that he was about to go do. I think meet up with the other fighters to see about the androids, and it's implied that she kissed. They kissed, because you see the shadows with her leaned up towards him. So it's implied that they kissed. Why does Super have to do these stupid things? I mean, is it really that aim that much aimed towards kids that they made it that Goku never kissed Chi Chi? God, I mean, I'm sorry. I I know it happened a long a while back in Super, but it just popped in my mind like how ridiculous that is. They have two kids. Anyways, I, I'm sorry. I just I, I I had to make a video on it. Let me know what y'all thought about this moment. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright. Oh, and one more thing. You know I had to do it. That's one of the good things about Dragon Ball GT Goku. He, they stay true to his character. You know, they show that he still cares about Chi Chi. He still fears Chi Chi in certain ways. And, you know, GT stayed true to that Goku. While Super just, I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they designed Super Goku because it's definitely not the same it's it's somebody completely different like completely out of whack that's what I'm telling people it's not the same continuity Super is his own thing man it, it's, it's just not the same Goku at all he doesn't have his charm he doesn't have his fighting wisdom I mean don't get me wrong I understand Goku was never really meant to be a deep character he was just meant to just fight which is what Super Goku is he's just there to fight but it's like Toriyama forgot throughout Z he's developed into a character that actually fights for people he has things to lose like it or not he developed a hero side you know he's a hero he he's, has developed that throughout Z and Ball like it or not whether that was the original idea or not, that's what happened. And I just don't have, it's like he completely lost that in Super and GT kept it going and developed on it. So yeah, I just had to throw that in there. Let me know what y'all think and I'll see you in the comment section.